Hello you guys. Today is house tour day. Unfortunately, I was not able to do an empty house tour because everything with moving happened so quick, honestly, there at the end. I hate that I didn't get an empty house tour for you guys. We purchased the Eagle 52. It's built by Clayton. Let's get on with this house tour. All right, you guys, so starting at the front door, this is our entryway. It's pretty spacious. We still have some clothes baskets there that have some things we need to organize. I'll probably end up ditching the clothes baskets, honestly, but we're using them to move stuff right now. We still have a, a few little things to move. But when you walk in, you have the entry area. It's pretty spacious. We're probably eventually going to put like a little mat right there for dirty shoes and stuff. And then you have our living room. This is our couch. We bought it locally, but I wanna say it's probably like Ashley furniture. And right now we've got these two little end tables, but we do eventually want to get a coffee table for here. This is our living room. It's pretty spacious. I already had the two side tables, but this piece of furniture is from Wayfair, the entertainment center. So we did Wayfair for most of our furniture actually. Then we move over here and this is the dining room area. The pie safe over there, my dad actually built that. And then our dining room table is actually from Walmart and it's really nice. It seats four and I think it fits the space very well. And I do want to add candlesticks to our candle holders. I just haven't been to the place to get them yet. Then we have the kitchen. So we have our coffee bar over there. I'm slowly getting decorations and we have some organizational pieces there on top of the fridge, ignore that. Um, but let's start here on the island. The plants are probably not gonna stay. I just brought them over today and I don't really have a good place for them. I don't have shelves yet. And little man is really rough on plants so I need him up where he can't get into them anyway. So they'll live here for now. This little tray is here for now. It's probably not going to stay though, but I don't know where to put it. And then moving on in here is the laundry room. I'm going to take you guys back to the extra bedrooms. So we'll start in here. This is obviously little man's room. We have it baby proofed and we've got his toys. Here, that plug is blocked where he cannot get to it. I would like to get a little shelf to put under his dinosaurs that he cannot reach to put like his sound machine and the baby monitor on. And then this is his closet. Pretty much every closet is a walk-in closet, which is nice. So we just have all of his stuff in here. Moving on, I will take you guys to the extra bedroom. Right now, it's a workout room because it's just the extra bedroom. I would like to eventually have a separate place to have our workout equipment outside of our house, but I'm not sure if that's possible. I don't know if we have the room for it on our property, so we would just have to figure that out. Then this is also a walk-in closet. It's got lots of stuff. I can't really organize the laundry room yet. We haven't got our washer and dryer in. So some of this will go in the laundry room once we get our washer and dryer delivered and that should be coming. Hopefully it should be coming the day you're seeing this video. Next, we're gonna move on to the second bathroom. It's a tub shower combo. So this is his bathroom. Next, I'm gonna take you guys back to our bedroom. So this is our room. I mean, honestly, it's really, really big. We got our bed frame from Wayfair. And our two side tables are from TJ, Ma no, Marshalls. And then over here, this is our dresser. So this just has our clothes that we fold. It has our hatch 
alarm clock the diffuser and our little caddy for our stuff and then over here i plan to put a bookshelf because i have nowhere to put my books i actually pretty much cut all of my books out anyway because i decided i don't have room for them and i can get them on libby so i'm gonna put a bookshelf in this area over here but we have all of our little office stuff right here and then we also have a walk-in closet as well. And it is pretty spacious. Lots of shoes. We probably need to get like a shoe rack. But anyway, lots of storage in here. Then here is our bathroom. So we have double vanity in here. A huge tub which I'm gonna be honest I haven't cleaned it yet because I have not used it yet so it's still a little bit dusty but I'm gonna get that cleaned up because I'm hoping to use that soon then we have our laundry hamper we did get that at Target if you guys watch the haul as well as our bath mat and then we do have a shower all right you guys so that was our house tour i hope that you guys enjoyed i will see you guys in my next one